Hi, I'm Matt from Starboard UK. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Starboard windsurf foil. In this box in front of me, I've got the new Starboard Supercruiser Evolution. It's brand new. I'm going to get it unboxed, show you the components and how to put it together. So laid out, this is everything you get with the Starboard Supercruiser. You get a Starboard foil sticker, Warranty information, you get a year's warranty on starboard foils. A two-in-one fitting guide that shows you how to convert the foil box head on the mast into a deep tuttle. And an assembly guide. Don't throw this one away because you're going to need it when you start putting your foil together. Onto the wings, you get a 1700 Supercruiser front wing. This is the same shape as the previous version of the Supercruiser. It's just adapted to fit on the Evolution fuselage. You now get a carbon 330 tail wing, spacers to angle that tail wing. You get a bolt pack with the tool to assemble it. 85 centimeter aluminium mast and the 102 classic evolution aluminium fuselage. Now I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So firstly, I'm going to attach the wings to the fuselage, but before I do that, you'll see there's the shipping spacers on each end. These need to be taken off first, but keep hold of them as they're really handy for transporting your fuselage as it just protects each end. With those off, Starting with the front wing, I'm going to need the assembly guide. On here, it shows which bolts are needed for each wing and where. And you've also got a little guide here that you can literally measure each bolt's length with so you know which one you need. It's handy on the Super Cruiser as all four of the front bolts are the same length and they're all the 30mm ones. So now I'm going to go ahead, lay the wing onto the fuselage. Drop these in. And screw them in. These only need to be hand tight you don't need to crank them in or you might risk damaging the wing or the fuselage. Once that front wing's secured, we can flip the whole thing over and move to the tail wing. But before we attach the tail wing, we need to insert a spacer. On Starboard's website, they recommend which spacer to start with depending which foil you've got. On the Super Cruiser, they recommend the zero, so this is what we're gonna put on this one. As on the assembly guide, it's a 12 mil bolt just to secure that one in. And for the 330 tail wing, starboard recommend three of the 20, uh, 22 mil bolts. Again, they're just hand tight. So that's the wings on. Now we'll look at the mast to the fuselage connection. So when I put the mast in, I'm gonna make sure that the thicker edge is facing the front. And I'm just gonna push it in to the fuselage, as tight as I can go. For the next bit, it's easier if you flip the whole lot over. For the three vertical bolts, starboard recommend 25 mil but for aluminium masts, it's actually 30 mil bolts. So I'm just gonna get those, make sure the holes are lined up and drop these in and tighten them up. The 
next bit is the barrel bolts, which go through horizontally. And easy as that, the whole foil's now assembled. So the Supercruiser has been designed to work really well with the starboard foil X that I've got here behind me. So I'm now gonna show you how I connect these two together. Firstly, you wanna lay the board down, deck side down. Sometimes with a brand new foil, you're gonna to have to sand the nylon head a little bit to get it to fit into the, uh, into the foil box. But it wants to be a snug fit. Bit of encouragement. That fills in. And I'm gonna flip the whole lot over. So using the tool and the bolts that came with the board, I'm just gonna tighten these up. They're hand tight, that's now ready to go. Whether you're setting up your foil at home or in the office or down on the beach, it's definitely worth getting some Tef gel to put on your bolts just to prevent them from seizing. It's also worth picking up some wing covers, which just Velcro on like so. These will just prevent your wing tips from, uh, from getting scratched and damaged, but don't forget to take these off before you go sailing. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to know more about the setup of starboard foils, then please get in touch via the comments below. I will insert a link below to find out where you can buy starboard foils and starboard boards from in the UK. I hope you liked this video. Please like and share it and stay tuned to our channel for more content coming soon. Thanks for watching.